For today's Monday makeup lesson, I am trying the Magic Eyeshadow Blending Hack using sponge tip applicators. So I tried this in my previous video and it didn't work for me, and so many of you said it didn't work for you either, but others share tips to make it work, so I promised I would come back if I managed to get a better result, and I did. Here's a list of the products that I used to create this look. For a base, I'm using Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. I'm using a good base because I found this was important for this hack. Gives the eyeshadow something to hold on to and prevents that muddy result that we were getting in our previous video. The lightest shade that I'm using is by Yves Saint Laurent. It is number three, Satin Crush. I'm using Up Cosmetics 5 Second Eyes in the shades Smoky Bronze and the shade Brownie. These are perfect for creating this look and I kind of wish that I'd used them last time because they're just ideal. For my matte midtone, I am using the Essence Eyebrow Shadow. Yes, it's for your eyebrows, but it's perfect for the crease. I also wanted to add a touch of sparkle at the end, so I'm using the Powder Chrome Loose Eye Pigment by NARS in Shockham. And for brushes, as always, I'm using the Blank Canvas Cosmetics brushes, and I'm using the One Stop Eye brush set, which has everything that I need. So I'm going to start off by applying a base on the lid. I found a good base was essential for this hack. It gives the eyeshadow some grip. It helps to create that blank canvas, which will help the eyeshadows pop a little bit more, which was an issue that we were having in our previous video. The eyeshadows don't really pop with this hack. So once I've applied my base, I then go in with my first eyeshadow. The first shadow is the lightest shade. You want to load up your sponge tip applicator. Yes, sponge tip applicator. This whole hack is based around using a sponge tip applicator. So you want to swipe this on the lid and I immediately started blending. However, for this look, you actually don't want to start blending. You just want to swipe it on Sinead. That's just silly me. So swipe this on the lid, don't blend, and then move on to your next shadow. The next shade is our medium shade. I am swiping that beside the first one, so right in the middle of the lid. Remember, don't blend, just swipe. Then we wanna take our contour shade to do our final swipe. Now, I should have had these two shades a little closer together. I didn't realize how far apart they were due to my eye shape, I guess. The further apart they are, the harder the blending process is, so that's just something to watch out for. Now, in my previous video, I used a blending brush to blend. However, you need to use a shorter brush that has less movement. So avoid anything tapered or fluffy and opt for a firmer brush. We're also blending light to dark, so do both eyes at the same time. If you do one eye in full, then you will darken your lighter shades on the other eye, so remember to switch over and back between each step. So essentially you are blurring the edges of the shadows together instead of blending. So try keeping your hand a little higher. This will prevent you from blending your eyeshadows upwards. We want to blend them across the lid. Remember the brush is completely clear of any eyeshadow. We only want to blend what we have on the lid, which is why it's so important to make sure you're applying enough shadow with each initial swipe. Once you have blended shade one and two, you then want to blend shade two and three. Now this is a little tricky because the eyeshadows were too far away. So the contour starts to shear off a little bit because it has so much area to cover. So watch out for that. Then you want to apply your mid-tone. Now for this hack, you are meant to swipe it on. However, I thought that this was a little unnecessary it would just be so much easier just to pick up the eyeshadow and apply it, but we're trying to stay true to the hack. So I'm applying this above the lid and then using my blending brush this time to softly blend. Now you can use the firm brush that you have been using. However, I wanted a softer blend, so I switched to a blending brush. I did like the tip of using the sponge tip applicator on the lower outer edge and lifting it upwards to lift the eye shape. So following the lower lid, you're almost winging it upwards and then blending it in. I liked this part. It was a good tip and it added some nice shaping to the look. And that is the finished look. It all blended quite well together. I didn't get that muddy finish like we got last time, though these eyeshadows are perfect for this style. So that actually helped a lot. 
I added a little bit of the Shock Me pigment to the inner corner, mascara and lashes, and I'm pretty happy with the results. I will say my favorite thing about this though, is that I can use this to test different combinations. So if you're unsure if a tone or a shade are gonna work together, you can do your little trial run of swiping them on the lid. And then this way it can kind of help you be a little bit more adventurous and try different combinations that you might have been unsure about. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If there's any more hacks you'd like me to try, let me know. If you liked this video, hit the like button below. I'd really appreciate it. As always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you in the next one.